We know the extreme weather that we've been experiencing lately has humans bundling up and finding ways to stay warm, but the chilly conditions can also impact our pets. According to the D.C.-based nonprofit, American Humane pet owners need to take extra precautions to keep their animals safe during these conditions. They say pets left to fend for themselves in cold weather are susceptible to injury or even death. So today, we're offering some tips to keep your furry friends safe in these freezing temperatures. Joining us now to discuss is Dr. Ruth McPeach. She is a veterinarian and the author of Lizette the Vet. Doctor, good to have you with us. I want to read this book now, by the way. So, first of all, if you're doing your daily walks with your pets, I think one question people have is, is there a temperature when that becomes just too dangerous? That's a great question. Unfortunately, there isn't one number I can give you. It really depends on your particular pet. So just like us, pets feel cold. And how cold, again, depends on the pet. It depends on things like your pet's breed, their age, their weight, and their overall health. We know that certain dogs like Huskies have a thick coat and a double-layered double, double -layered coat. So that keeps them warm and they tend to be more acclimated to the cold. But other dogs like my dog, like Dobermans and Chihuahuas have very thin coats and they're going to be more susceptible to the cold than, uh, than other animals with thicker coats. Doctor, who else is joining us? Who is this? <laughs> This is Jet, and you can see he's all bundled up <laughs> for the cold weather. Yeah, we're going to ask you about that in just a minute, about like some tips, like if that helps. I'm so curious. I have a dog, by the way. Her name's Lucy, and Lucy has lots of outfits that she's fine with me putting her in, which oh. really makes me kind of proud of her. You know, I'm like, oh, we both like her clothes. Um, doctor, though, tell us, because even if you're not going to take your dog on a walk, I mean, you got to take your dog out, right? What should you look out for when you're even doing just a quick trip outside? Well, like you mentioned, you want to really just adjust your schedule. So they do need to go outside, but what you're going to want to do is adjust your walks and outside playtime according to the weather. So if they have to go out, I do recommend bundling them up. Um, I do think that putting jackets on them and booties or sweaters is a great idea. Not only does it help keep them warm, but as you mentioned, they look cute and fashionable as well. Um, my dog likes it and gets extra attention. But again, the goal is really to keep them warm when they're outside. When Lucy wears a vest out, I am like, oh, please. I know she's famous. <laughs> People laugh, love to talk about it. Are, are, are there any other tips or things you hear or see people do that you just think, no, no, don't do not do that. Well, I do think it's really important that people are mindful of the fact that in winter, there are a lot of different chemicals out there on the ground. Mm. So there are de-icers and salt on the ground, and all those things can irritate your pet's paws. Um, in addition to the fact that your pets often lick their feet and their paws, and so they can ingest those chemicals. So I'm a big fan of booties if your pet will wear them. I think those are great. It keeps the chemicals outside and protects your pet. If you your pet won't wear booties or that doesn't work for you, then I recommend wiping your pet's paws when they come inside. Just give them a quick wipe down. Um, you can even use, you know, a pet wipe or you can use a paper towel with water. Just wipe off the chemicals to get those off their feet. All right. Very good. Do, by the way, we're looking at all dogs from our staff. Yes, here those models are part now. of the team. Very good models. Does Lucy yeah. wear booties? She Booties, I haven't tried. I mean, that I don't think she'd do. She's no. kind of okay. like, eh. <laughs> But she very easily lets me put a sweater or a vest on, which well, I love. I'm go. happy to hear it, it does something, because I'm always kind of like, is this, they have a coat <laughs> them, that they always Fashion wear. Fashion and function. Yeah. All right. Dr. Ruth McPete, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We and really thank appreciate you, it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.